1-900-MMM-HMMM. Cut. Um, I want to begin by asking you, because watching this movie, it totally reminded me of an 80s comedy oh, starring Bette Midler you. and Lily Tomlin. <laughs> yes. Is that, and I mean that as a compliment. Do you take that? Was there any sort of inspiration from oh that? Oh my god, of course. You know, the 80s, there was such an incredible boom of really funny women telling these stories that weren't necessarily about getting the guy and that were just about being funny. And, and that definitely was a huge inspiration for us and, and definitely for Jamie, our director, as far as visually, he loves that world and definitely wanted to place us in that. So he had sort of talked about that a little bit? And, oh, oh, no yes. kidding. Oh, okay. yeah, no, that was one of the things that when he, you know, in our first meeting with him, when he brought that up, we were like, yeah, yeah, so we really liked him. Yeah. Well, and what worked so well about those movies, and I think she also made some with Shelley Long that were, that were oh, funny as well. Yeah, Diane they all had these great chemistry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You and Ari also had this great, great, great chemistry. Was it instant? Was it as soon as you guys met? God, I, I, I don't know. I hope it was. I mean, we got along right away. I mean, we, we wrote the part with her in mind. I mean, because she's so talented and, and so incredible. And so we sent her, this, the moment we decided to make the movie on our own, we sent her a letter and asked her to be a part of it. And we, we got together, me and Katie and her, and we had breakfast together. And the whole time we were like, she's Katie, this is amazing. And, um, and we got to know each other for a long time before shooting. And I think that's why the chemistry works. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned deciding to make the film on your own. Mm -hmm. Did you shop it around a bit? What was sort of the reaction, the initial reaction you got from studios with the script? We did. We did try to make it in the studio world. I mean, of course we did, because, you know, we wanted to get paid, and because um, we're humans. And um, But, you know, the script was very well received. Everyone really liked it. We, we must have had 50, 60 meetings with people who loved it, but no one wanted to make it. It was it was a pre-Bridesmaids time, and it had been a long time since a, a female R-rated comedy had done well. And, you know, so it was just just one of those things that people weren't ready for it did, yet. Did you feel, after you saw Bridesmaids, did you feel like, oh, and then The Hangover and all those kind of films that come, did you like, oh, I think this might be the right time? Yeah, no, I mean, I think that Bridesmaids and the, the audience that turned out for Bridesmaids proved that there is a, a huge market of women who want to see movies that are that portray women doing things that are that are closer to their real lives. It's not just about getting a guy. That's about being friends or finding your best friend or finding your voice or running a phone sex line or whatever it is. <laughs> uh, your character is definitely a little. Um, how do you describe her? How would you describe her? She's a little uh, standoffish. A little. Yeah, you know, she, uh, she you know stays inside her box. Yeah, a little, yeah. And um, she's she's a girl with a plan and has trouble deviating from that. Um, but. You know, as the movie goes on, certainly she finds her voice and learns how to step outside that that comfort zone, and uh, you know, and, and she finds her voice. Yeah, and it's that friendship with with Ari's character that really helps her to kind of yeah. find herself, as you said. You know, as a woman, and you know, Katie and I both have had a number of relationships, and especially our relationship that she and I had have with each other in real life, has changed us and influenced who we are and you know in, in real life Katie shows me things about myself that I don't realize exist you know and, and I think that's something that in female friendship women really relate to and that's what we wanted to to talk about in this movie yeah last question how great is Mimi Rogers as a mom oh my god <laughs> she's amazing and we're twins and um, she was so cool I mean god I think had I think she would have been uh, excellent had she gotten gotten to be an operator on the film and, and done, done some phone sex calls I'm sure she would have been great but uh, otherwise she was the best mom she could be in the movie. That's a three-way. Yes, we can do that. I'm Kitty, and I'm here with my friend. I'm Caddy. Hello, Kitty and Caddy. That's, uh, guarantee you that's gonna confuse me once I start.